and ex explain explain some more about the ultrasonic sound side of things. The ultrasonic works um, with the plasma system. It always is in perfect harmony with the plasma frequency. With um, it, it, I'll have to explain what harmonics are. Harmonics is when one lower frequency, sorry, a subharmonic is when a lower frequency is in direct relationship to a higher frequency. They, they, one will support the other. What the ultrasonic does, it works on a subharmonic of the plasma frequency. Um, so the plasma frequency will be one frequency. The ultrasonic will be one sixteenth of that frequency, exactly one sixteenth of that frequency. This is at one setting. Now, sixteen. Why did we choose sixteen? It's not quite how old I am. Um, we're even twice as old as I am. Well, we won't even go there. But um, sixteen is the only harmonic number that is both an octal harmonic and a Fibonacci harmonic. It's the only one. Why have I thrown this word at Fibonacci? <laughs> it's a natural harmonic system that occurs through nature. Um, and what we have found is that using 16 as a subharmonic is more powerful than using a, any other octal harmonic. And so we use 16. Now 16 times 16 is 256. We also use 256 for the higher frequencies of plasma for the ultrasonic as well. So the user has a choice between using 16 or 256. Um, I'll give you a demonstration. I'll turn the system on. This is, this is our ultrasonic head. If you've got a tumour on your neck, you just apply it onto your neck, directly over the tumour. And the frequency goes straight into the tumour. Okay. Can you hear that, Clive? Yes. Yeah, tone, tones again. It's stepping up. And then this in the audio, well, it gives it paper, then it goes into the ultrasonic. Now, currently the person is running at 4.3 megahertz. And so this is the low frequency ultrasonic. We can switch it to high frequency. And now it's way beyond our audio ability. So we have to go right down to here. The tube is now running at 300 kilohertz. You can still hear it slightly. 400. We've lost the audio. The ultrasonic works way beyond 200 kilohertz, which is beyond mere mortals like yourself and me. But what it does, even though we can't hear it, if you touch it up against your body, that sound is going all through your body. Research has found if you apply magnetic waves to your body, the pathogens can align so they're not being disturbed much by the magnetic field. Sound doesn't have any fields at all. There's nothing a virus can do. It's a bit like a being a parent and noise having noisy children, no matter where you go, the noise is always going to be there. <laughs> and what the, what the sound does it makes the cells vibrate until they explode. And they've got the plasma to help them do that as well. So we take it from all angles. <laughs>